Mr. President, if you are watching this video, well, hello. Uh, today I'm kind of sad. I'm worried because I was supposed to make a video today and I don't have an idea of what to talk about. This is my weekly video and I don't even have a theme. Now I just know that I, I need to make a video right now and my mind is blank. So I'm going to ask you a question. It's a question that has been in my mind. I don't want to see your opinion. So have you ever wondered um, how come like when you don't like somebody, you know, everything these people do bothers you? <sighs> Look at the way he walks. Charlie. Or the person is dressed real nice. Oh, mister, look at me. You know, and if he's dressed bad, and he's walking out like that? Or he has a very nice car. Hmm. I bet you he owes all of it. At least mine is paid for. I bet you his house is dirty. Yeah, have you ever done that? And if he publishes a picture on Instagram or Facebook, from a very clean home. Show off. How come he doesn't make a video from his house and shows the kitchen sink? Huh? huh. I bet you he has piles of dishes. Dirty rat. And you know, and you get all of this out of a nice picture, but that's because you don't like the person. But now, um, today, and that's not what I was going to talk about. Today, I wanted to talk to you about this very special shirt. I'm going to talk to you about my T-shirt here. Um, I got this shirt when I was younger. You know, when I was about, like, two weeks younger. I remember back then, you know, two weeks ago, to, to be exact, I, I was needing a T-shirt because I just needed one. You know, summer was coming. And you know, well, actually, summer had came because it was two weeks ago today. Well, anyway, summer was here or is here. And, and I only had long sleeve shirts to go around. And by the way, when you live in Texas, in the hardest city, the hardest state in the world, like for example, in Texas, you don't look for the closest parking spot at the stores when you go to grocery store. Now you look for the ones with the most shade, even if you're two miles away from the store. But anyways, here I was, and I only had long sleeve shirts. So when you're in Texas with long sleeves and you sweat, and I remember I had gone to this big store that sells all kinds of stuff, you know, the store with the big blue W and that I can not say the name because for obvious reasons, you know, I don't like to promote Mr. Watson's business or anyone's business. So all I'm going to say and all I can say is that it starts with the blue letter W and then it ends up in Mart. And they do have you know, they have almost everything with the best prices around. And you know, they have these huge super centers that are open 24 hours a day. They're almost in every city. They're in every country. You can eat in there. Some, some of these uh, stores have McDonald's in there. I wonder if the W is for Watson. And then Wall and the All is because they have it all or is it wall because it has wall well anyways i just know that it ends in mart maybe because he's a very smart man to have made a success walmart stores around the, the world hmm. wait a minute wait a minute wait, 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 i'm sorry disregard that last comment where I said the word Walmart. So please just strike it out of the record completely. I'm not gonna be promoting brands here just because 
They have everything you can ever need. Uh-uh. And they have them uh, at very affordable prices. Or just because they're everywhere and they're very convenient and then and they're always open. No, sir. You can pay for your own promotion. Hm. Pues these ones. Pues estos. But anyways. Who do they think they are? They get me upset. Anyway, anyways, that's all the clue that I can give you on this store. So anyways, uh, going back to my story. I had got me a red t-shirt. that was like, I was like $28. And I was like, wow, that hurts. Like, that's a little bit pricey, Mr. Walmart, you know. Darn it. Oh, did it again. Uh, please disregard the store name that I just mentioned. I'm not going to redo my video just because I keep making mistakes and keep mentioning this best store in the world here. So, Mr. Watson, you're not getting away with free publicity on my channel, dude. But anyways, going back to my story, um, I was walking through the men's department with my $28 t-shirt that I wasn't planning to buy, but I had to buy. Went boom! I saw a package of three t-shirts for $9.99. I'm telling you, they have everything. And I went, whoa, rewind, whoa. So boom, I put that shirt, $28 shirt, back where it belonged. Boom. I got me three packages of t-shirts, nine shirts for the same price now that I could wear every single day, one shirt a day. And even if the president was to change the week to be as long as nine days, guess what? Instead of seven, I will still have a shirt that I could wear. Hmm. Well, I just came up with a great idea. Imagine a nine day week. Jesse, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Ocho Day, and Nueve Day. That'd be awesome. Mr. President, if you are watching this video and you want to go to a nine day week, you can use my Ocho Day and Nueve Day idea. Thank you. You're welcome. You can keep my idea, sir. But if it works out, I'm gonna want some kind of compensation, sir. That'd be great, you know? Imagine a four day weekend. You know, cause you still work five days, Monday to Friday, and then you're off four days. And then you could very smartly call in sick on Monday. Wham! A five day vacation every week. Jesse, you're a genius. Jesse, thank you, man. You're the man. You're smart. I know, I know. And I'm also very humble. But wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Rewind again, rewind. But what if you had to work the weekend? That ain't gonna work out. Mr. President, if you're watching my YouTube channel today, Although I don't think you would be watching my channel unless you like to cook authentic Mexican food. I have all types of videos here. Or maybe you like country music like my grandpa Freddy Fender taught me, Spanish and English. I have my own creations here, Mr. President. I'm gonna leave the video here. Check me out, sir. And for all of you that are watching me, watch my country max videos. But Mr. President, if you're not watching my video right now, I know you will end up watching it somehow. But anyways, just please forget about my idea, sir, of the nine day week. I don't want those hateful, rude comments coming back to me. Hey man, I have to work the weekend, four days. What were you thinking, Chuy? Eh? So, um, no, no, sir. Let's just stay with the seven-day week. 
So forget I even mentioned that, sir. And Mr. President, if you have just subscribed or you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just know that this video was not intended for you, but it ended being for you somehow. Because remember, I had no idea what this video was going to be about. You can go through the beginning of the video that I didn't have an idea about the video, and now I have a video. So now I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna give you some words of wisdom, like I always do. But wait a minute. I did not prepare words of wisdom because I wasn't even gonna make a video. Oh well. Then I'm just gonna tell you a couple of true little stories that happened to me. And they're very short, but they are true. Okay? One day, a dog was coming at me. He was running at me. And he said, his, his, his mouth was wide open, like this big. And I had to think like in a fraction of a millisecond. That's how quick my mind thinks, you know? So as he jumped at me with his mouth this big, I put my hand in his, in, right there in his mouth, and I put all my arm in there, Oh, and I felt his tripas and his guts and all. And I reached all the way to the tail. And I grabbed it by the tail and wow, I flipped the dog and it, it went running backwards. That's a true story, buddy. And on another day, I was in the woods here in Texas. You know, in Texas, we have a lot of snakes. And I just saw a huge snake, you know? So I decided to kill it and skin it for a meal because in Texas we kill snakes for meals, man. But just as I was about to corner the snake, guess what? A bigger snake showed up from the left side and they started fighting each other. Now think about it, man. Snakes fighting, I get my telephone. The bigger snake opened its mouth and it starts to eat the small snake by the tail. But the small snake turned around him, boom, grabbed the bigger snake by its tail also. So now they're eating each other. They start to swallow each other. You have a big circle. They, they're both eating, and it's a circle. And they, the circle starts getting smaller. And they both started to eat each other by their tails. The circle got smaller until they disappeared. And you know, I tried to record it to show you guys but I had no batteries on my iPhone. Darn it. I said iPhone. You know what? I, I hate commercials. I hate commercials unless they're on my YouTube channel. Then I don't mind if they appear every 30 seconds. I'm, I'm okay with it. So when you watch my videos, please also watch my commercials. Don't skip them. That's how I get money. I'm a small YouTuber, I need some money. Watch them all to the end and let me know. Hey, just put there, hey Jesse, I only watched 78 videos because I ran out of time yesterday, you know? So anyways, I didn't have a video to, uh, to do. And so thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for watching all my videos and uh, I'll see you the next next time I guess thank you